hey it's mel here again back with another video and in this one i want to talk about how to stop feeling guilty about calling in sick if you ever feel like you need a mental health day if you ever feel like you're literally physically sick but there's still this guilt gnawing at you when it's time for you to call in and you get so anxious when it's time for you to call in you get nervous about calling in sick and some people even have a fear around calling in sick. So if you feel guilty or you feel bad or you feel anxious or you feel nervous about calling in sick, you may say things to yourself like it's hard for you to let your team down. Um, you might try to justify your reasoning of feeling for feeling guilty by saying that it's hard to be down a man at work or maybe you say that you just are a hard worker and that's just your work ethic. All those things are BS, okay? So I'm here to tell you like it is so that you can change this so you can really stop feeling guilty about calling in sick. So a lot of times your boss or your employer actually makes you feel bad or makes you feel guilty for calling in sick or for being sick, for being human, for being tired, for needing a break, for needing to recharge. And this is not okay because when this happens, you form these beliefs that you have to sacrifice your health and that you have to sacrifice you feeling good for your work or that you have to put work above everything else. And when you have this mindset ingrained in you, which you do if you have this sick day guilt or you have this guilt with calling out sick. So you have this mindset, right? And the bosses that aren't understanding the bosses that expect you to show up no matter what they are contributing to you living out that mindset they're contributing to you feeling guilty and feeling bad about being a human and about getting sick so what does this lead to it leads to you being super anxious to call your job if you're not feeling good you don't have to be physically sick in order for you to have a sick day this is what a lot of people get confused so a mental health day is a, absolutely a real thing as well, because if you don't take care of your mental health, then it's definitely going to start affecting your physical health. If you keep ignoring that mental health and you keep pushing past it and just putting on a brave face because you don't want to let your team down, you don't want to let your boss down. This will catch up to you and it'll take a toll on your mental, your physical health. And if you're not already you will start to feel drained, you will start to feel exhausted, you will start to feel like you have zero energy. And this is the quickest way to burn yourself out. The issue is that you have this subconscious belief that you have to sacrifice for the grind or that you have to work hard and sacrifice either your health or time with your family or you actually being able to enjoy your life. But this is where so many people go wrong today in the working world because you can tell yourself constantly that you're trying to work towards the goal so you don't want to miss any days you want to show up but at what point do you start taking care of yourself if you constantly ignore your body telling you that you need to break and you just try to silence it and go into work anyway or you feel super guilty about calling out of work when clearly you need to take a break all this does is reinforce that programming in your mind that you have to sacrifice your health for work and if you keep doing this that guilt is gonna that guilt is gonna stay there it's not gonna go anywhere in order to really get rid of that guilt your subconscious mind has to be rewired so that it knows that it's okay for you to rest and recharge because if not, it's just going to keep running off of that old belief that you have to sacrifice something for the grind, that you'll be letting your team down if you don't show up. Sure, you might be letting somebody down, but it's better to let your team down for that day or those days that you need a break than to let yourself down constantly if you continue to put your team or put your boss or put your job over yourself and you continue to feel guilty or bad about needing to rest like a normal human being then it's going to catch up with you 
And that guilt is going to stay there with you. So if you have this feeling like you are letting people down or you feel really anxious, you feel nervous, you feel guilty, and you allow your boss to make you feel bad, your mind is taking note of all of those things. And your mind's number one job is to keep you safe, to keep, to keep you protected. So if it thinks that you're safe and protected by swallowing your emotions and just going into work anyway, even though you feel bad because you want to avoid conflict or you don't want to let other people down, it's going to be it's going to work in your favor in this way. Even though doing it that way has a negative impact on your mental and your physical health because it's going to catch up with you. Your mind is still trying to keep you safe and your mind safety is no confrontation, not feeling guilty. So if you don't call in sick, then you don't feel guilty. And those are the those are the things that go on in your unconscious mind. And you, on top of that, that programming that's going on in your unconscious mind, you justify it with making those excuses like I'm just a hard worker, that's just my work ethic, or being really upset about letting your teammates down because it's hard to be down a man at work but you are suffering as a result of this and if you continue to ignore your mental health if you continue to ignore your physical health because you don't because you want to avoid feeling that guilt or you want to avoid feeling bad or you want to avoid letting somebody else down not only is this destroying your health short term because working when you're mentally and physically exhausted is going to make you feel worse if you don't rest like your body's trying to warn you, you being sick or you feeling like you need a mental health day from just being overwhelmed and drained and overbooked is literally your your body trying to warn you like, hey, we need to slow down. Like we need to start doing something different. But if you continue to ignore that, you will get burnt out. You still got to take care of yourself in the process because if you don't, then you'll be working towards poor health. You'll be working towards a hospitalization. And that's when it gets really scary because at what point do you start listening to those cues within your body? To stop feeling guilty about calling in sick, just to reiterate, your unconscious programming related to you feeling that guilt, related to you feeling like you have to sacrifice your health or you have to sacrifice something for the grind or you have to put other people before you, like you don't want to let other people down, all of that has to be reprogrammed and all of that is happening because you have this deep belief that you have to prove your worth so if your boss and your teammates expect something of you or they expect you to show up no matter what you not wanting to let them down is you trying to prove your worth to them and it's you trying to prove your worth to yourself like hey I can still show up even though I'm like almost on my deathbed or I literally need to recharge so at the end of the day you are only hurting yourself if anything happened to you god forbid I know you always hear that jobs replace you like this and that is the truth so you really got to put your mental and physical health before a job and to do that without feeling guilty that unconscious reprogramming is really the key. And that's exactly what I help my clients do, that unconscious reprogramming, because if you don't do it this way, you'll continue to feel anxious, you'll continue to feel nervous, you'll continue to feel guilty about needing to take care of yourself when you're clearly exhausted and when you clearly need a mental and physical break. If it's not done that way in your unconscious mind, you'll also continue to deteriorate your own health whether that's directly or indirectly, whatever habits you have. So that sick day guilt and you feeling really worked up and nervous about calling in sick, so you just try to avoid confrontation and you show up anyway, all of that is going to lead to even further illness down the line. It's going to lead to you being burnt out and you're going to go into these cycles of burnout and feeling like your your body is literally crying for help your mind, your body, whether you're like physically sick or you mentally need a break. Your mind and your body will continue to try to give you these cues, but 
if the programming isn't done in your unconscious mind and you're not able to listen to those cues and you just feel that guilt, it'll all build up. And even if your case isn't this extreme, and but you still feel that guilt when you need to take a break from work, that's definitely, it's not, it's not good at all to hold guilt. So you'll always be constantly putting yourself on the back burner or you'll always hold this feeling of guilt when you should, you have nothing to be guilty for. You have nothing to be afraid of. You should not be afraid of calling out of work. You don't have to sacrifice your health for the grind. That's a common misconception that people have, especially in society because they glorify hard work. They glorify showing up no matter what, but who's gonna show up for you? You're the only one that can show up for you. They're not gonna show up for you when you need help or when they need to replace you. They're not gonna show up for you when you're hospitalized because you chose to go in because you didn't want to let your boss down. So you really got to start choosing for yourself. You have to start choosing better for yourself because you're the only one that's going to do it. You're the only one that has the ability to choose better for yourself. No one is going to make you do it. So if you want better, this is where it starts. If you want to stop feeling guilty about calling in sick, this is really the key. This is the secret. If you experience this sick day guilt, it's such a common thing. If you have any experiences with this, drop a comment. I'd be happy to chat. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Give me a little likey like, a little subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.